That sounds good. I'm so sure you'll get this job. Me too. I hope so. Yeah, no doubt. Plus, you finally graduate this semester. Thanks, now. So, you may. What? What? Aren't you gonna tell Michael you're here? No, no. Keep your voices down. You guys just want free drinks. Who wouldn't want free drinks when your girl dated the head chef? I knew it. You guys only wanted to come here because you thought we could score free food. You can't wrong us. Plus, Michael is way nicer than Kevin. Way nicer. You're too good for him. I don't want to hear it. Kevin and I are doing just fine.
He missed me. My boss scheduled three meetings, all before six o'clock. Morning to you, too. Kevin texted me. He said he missed me. I'm going to get some takeout from our spot and head over to his place this evening. So you're the kind of woman to get food made by your ex and feed it to your new man? Girl. It sounds so bad when you say it out loud. I have to go. Oh, remind the girls it's rent day. I'm off. Right. And have a good first day of class, yeah? It is the beginning of the end. Thank you. See you later. Hopefully not. I might be busy. Don't wait up. I more than understand. Bye, wife. You just miss Yume. She said rent's due. I see no one says good morning anymore. Morning, Addie. Don't worry about the rent. I already sent the money to Yume's account. I sent you some, too. You sure it's enough? Yeah, I just need it to cover the other half of my rent. I'm fine otherwise. Hopefully I land this job I interviewed for, and I promise I'll pay you back. Don't worry about it. You know I always got you. You could pay me back by coming to the club tomorrow night. Tell you made to bring Jenny. Sure thing. Thanks, Addie. Plus, you've helped me out big time, too. Nell and I wouldn't have gotten this far without you. Stop exaggerating. <laughs> I'm serious. That's why I want you to help me buy her engagement ring. And be my best lady slash maid of honor. Really? Yeah. I know you're busy interviewing for a full-time gig and all, and school. But when you have some downtime, think you can help a girl out? Of course! Oh my god, of course I will! I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thanks. Once we get the ring, the only thing left to do is find you a date. Why is everyone always trying to set me up? First day of class. Always annoying. Yeah, I agree. My professor handed out the syllabus and dived into a lecture. Somehow I fooled myself into thinking that wouldn't happen. Wishful thinking. What class are you taking? Actually, I I'm teaching. Oh, my mistake. No, it's cool. I I'm not a real professor or anything. Just a, a guest instructor for some time. Oh, okay. What are you teaching? It's a finance management class for the elderly. <laughs> Nothing crazy. The school has some free services they're offering. That happens to be one of them. That's cool. You must be a real whiz if you're a guest instructor. <laughs> uh, no. I'm just the only chump at work that volunteered for it. Well, I know your name isn't Chump. I'm Angela. Aiden. So, Aiden, do you like to dance?
Oh. My. God. Kevin stood me up. Now I'm not gonna say I told you so. Do you want me to feel worse? I'm sorry, but you need to let him go, Yume. Being that you just came in, I'm assuming you had a great first day of classes. Was he hot? It was a mistake. The guy is Kevin's friend from the party we had. Wow. And here I was actually hoping we could not mention Kevin for the rest of the day. You're an absolute jerk. I wasn't going to call you, but I was so mad at you. And it's not supposed to be like this. You could do better by me. I could do better. Then why'd you call? No. No, Mom. I was thinking, since it's the weekend, I could come home. School? Um, no. I... I didn't register for the semester. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, no. Definitely can't paint this. Hey, Jenny? I'm coming in, are you okay? No! Everything is just all wrong! And my mom hung up on me! And I didn't register for school! <laughs> Calm down. Start slow. <laughs> I just want to feel better already. Oh, Jenny. I hate this. I hate everything. If I didn't come here, Tyrell wouldn't have broken up with me. <laughs> Things wouldn't be so wrong. I just wish I could disappear. Good. I'm so sure you'll get this job. Kevin texted me. He said he missed me. I'm assuming you had a great first day of classes. Was he hot? Aiden. It was a mistake. The guy is Kevin's friend from the party we had. And that's why I want you to help me buy her engagement ring. How can she dance like that? Like she doesn't have a care in the world. Probably because she has so much to worry about. I wish I could dance it off like she can. Pretend nothing else matters. Kevin. You know he stood me up last night? You're way better than him, Yumi. Drop him. Seriously. I don't know. Maybe. I should go. I'm feeling kind of down. Heading home. Yeah, tell Dee I'm sorry. She'll more than understand. Go on ahead. We'll see you back at the apartment. Thanks. Later. Oh. 
Let me guess. Kevin? Yup. I wish she'd stop bothering with him. Can we not talk about Kevin? He leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And you? Something wrong? You were dancing like the world's gonna end. Just stuff. I'm nervous about the job. And other things. Oh? I did something really stupid last night. Remember the guy I hooked up with from the party we had? Kevin's friend? Somehow, we're still talking about that jerk. And yeah, the cute one. He was nice. Danced a lot when Buzz. Well, I saw him again on campus. He's a guest instructor for a free senior citizen class. Aw, that's so cute. I can see him doing that. He looks like that kind of guy. Yeah, he is. He's really nice. That's not what you really wanted to tell me. No, I guess we were really drunk at the party. Because I sort of didn't remember him. I guess he didn't remember me. You slept with him again, didn't you? You know how I am. A one-night stand is that for a reason. I just can't believe we hooked up again. What are the odds? Maybe it's a sign. Maybe this is the universe's way of telling you to find a decent guy to settle down with. You're so funny. I don't know. It can't be that bad. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't freak out. I won't freak out. Don't tell a soul. You know I'd never. I kissed Jenny. <gasps> I'm sorry I haven't been available lately. Busy. Work and stuff. You're full of shit. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. I'm not. Things are just sort of crazy at the moment. I like you. A lot. But I can't continue to be with you if half the time you're neglecting me. You're right. Things have to change. I mean, I don't get you. Is there another woman? No. Why do you girls think that? You may. There is only you. You're the woman I'm into. Okay. Okay. I should go. Yeah. I'll call you a cab. Yeah, work is good. I just started teaching the senior program. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's this one cool older gentleman. I think of dad every time. Okay. Okay. No. No, Ma, I'm not seeing anyone. Stop asking. Yeah, well, one day. More money? That's okay. I, I have no problem sending it. I'll give you guys more when I visit. Okay. All right. No, Ma, there's no woman. I won't have a date. All right. All right. I love you. Bye. Mama's boy. Uh, no. I don't know what to do about you, May. Tell the truth? No. Then why'd you ask? I didn't. I was thinking out loud. So, crazy story. Sure. I'd love to hear about someone else's problems. I'm tired of my own. So, remember that girl I told you about from Yume's party? The one with the afro? Angela. I know her. She goes to the school and I met her again. She didn't seem to remember who I was, but I remembered her. We hooked up. Again. Small world. Tell me about it. We talked a bit. She's, like, smart and sexy favor. and... She's not your type. What? You didn't even let me finish. She's not. Angela doesn't date. She's good for a good time, but doesn't date. Yume tells me all the time she should settle down. You actually listen to the girl you're cheating on? Shut it. Anyways, she's busy. Busier than a person that wants a relationship. I just don't have time. Padamapahattaram dattaram sarva sampadam loka. I'm always down for an independent woman, but I worry that you're a little too removed. Like, you don't need to commit, but you should slow down. Get a man. You may get a man. You can't keep having one night stands. 
Don't you want to wake up and be with the love of your life? I don't have time for love. I have school, work, I'm interviewing at different places. I have to get my life together. I want to wake up and cuddle Kevin every day. Here she goes. I thought we weren't talking about that loser anymore. We made up. Unlike you may hear, I don't have time for a serious relationship. How's your day going? Good. TV. Cool. You didn't come to the club last night. I was hoping you would. You need to get out more. My mom would get mad. Jenny, you're like, what, 18? Don't worry about what your mom thinks. I guess. I'm playing at another spot next week. You should come. Have fun. Maybe. Okay. Can't say I didn't try. Try? To be nice. You shut people out. Do I? Yeah. Try being a little friendlier. A little more open. Maybe. Will... Will Nell be there? Yeah. She and the girls always come out when I DJ. Hey there. Damn it. Hey, you. Hey. So, last week, that was cool. About that, I'm sorry. I should have said bye or something. Yeah, no, it's cool. I got you. <laughs> it's totally all right. My feelings weren't hurt or anything. Okay. I didn't want it to be weird. I guess it's going to be weird. Only if you want it to be. I had a great time. Oh. I did too. Do you want to get coffee or something sometime? Well, maybe not coffee, because it's late. Don't want to stay up all night. Tea. Tea is good. Listen, I'm totally going to get ahead of myself by saying this, but I'm really not looking for anything. It's cool. I get that. I just figure we can be friends or something since our good friends are dating. Yeah, I see what you mean. Cool. So, how about tea or something tomorrow night? I'm going out tomorrow. show you some dance moves? Actual dance moves. Oh, okay. I like that. Kiss Jenny. You may. There is only you. You're full of shit. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. Angela doesn't date. You didn't come to the club last night. Will Nell be there? I'm going out tomorrow night. Do you want to come? 
I like that. Having fun. It's okay. Want a drink? No, thank you. All right. I'm sorry about what happened the other day. Don't worry. You won't tell anyone, right? No. I won't. Thanks. And just know that guy you're crying about, it's his loss. Not yours. Thank you. Try to have a good time, okay? It'll get better. She's so cool. So, you think he'll show? I don't know. Why'd you invite him? Guilt? I don't know. You like him. I slept with him twice, and now you think I should date him? I don't have time for- He's here. Having a good time? Yeah. I wish Kevin was here. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. What? What? Angela invited Aiden. Really? She's gonna crush that guy. Does he know she's adamantly against relationships? He must not if he's here. So? Weekend going well so far? Yeah. This uh, really pretty woman invited me out to show me some dance moves. I'm a terrible dancer, so I hope she can show me a few things. Maybe. That was fun. Your friends are cool. Yeah, I think they like you. Do you like me? Ugh, don't push it. Okay, sorry. I'm not interested in dating, but I'm not opposed to friends. That's fine. We should grab drinks or something. I'm sure you may would love to see Kevin. What's up with Kevin? You may said they made up, and yet she still complains that he doesn't communicate with her. I can't turn over that info for free. I knew you'd say something like that. I promise, I'm not a bad guy. I just want to get to know you more. There's nothing to know. I don't believe that. You don't have to. Fair. I'm gonna go. It's late and all. You should go in. I'm a big girl. No need to tell me what to do. <laughs> I was just trying to be a gentleman. I'd like to see you off. 
Just because you won't go on a date with me doesn't mean I'm going to act like a jerk. He's cute. Real cute. Angela? You want to see me in safely? Uh... <laughs> shh, shh, shh. I don't want them to hear us. Uh, I, I, I really should go. Uh, I thought you wanted to see me in. Stay with me. Okay. Okay. an idiot. You're ungrateful. It's not like I don't enjoy having sex with her, but that's not what I'm after. Ungrateful. You have a woman that likes having sex with you, no effort or work required, and you complain? I wish Yumi would give it up like that. Is that why you're still with Rosa? I don't want to talk about Rosa. I'm just asking. I heard that you're still being an ass to Yume. If you don't want to be with her, break up. She's nice. Stop wasting her time. Who saw they want? Eh... Uh, Angela. You just met her. There's something about her. She's like... an enigma. She's friendly one moment, then doesn't bother with me the next. Before you know it, we're in bed with each other. You're a masochist. That woman's gonna break your heart. She doesn't date. She invited me out. And now you're already imagining a picket fence and cute biracial children, I bet. You think our kids would have afros? Oh my god. You fell in love with her at first sight, didn't you? You're a love sick fool. I've lost all respect for you. All respect. Why are you here again? To go over my portfolio. I want to buy a new property. So you have no respect for me, but still have faith in my financial advisement? I pay you pretty well. Hypocrite. And you're a high school girl in the body of a 30-year-old man. Think she'll like the ring? Do you think she'll say yes? Yeah. Why wouldn't she? I get the feeling that there's something you're not telling me. There's nothing to tell. Angie, you know you're like blood to me. Dee, there is nothing to tell. Then why are you so upset? Because you're hounding me. Because you know something is up. Tell me. Please tell me. I was there for you when Will left. That's not fair, Dee. I switched work shifts because this is the only time you're free. You don't get to throw Will in my face when we disagree. Then tell me. What did she do? I have to know. You can't keep hiding things from me for her. Ask her yourself if you're so unsure. Should you even get married if you can't trust her? I'm nervous. 
All right. When she cheated last time, I... I lost it. If you weren't around, I don't know. I don't think I could handle it if she did it again. Then talk that out with her. I'm going. I'll see you after work. Nothing! I haven't been with anyone! Don't lie to me! Are they fighting because of me? You're crazy! I wasn't with anyone! I've only been with you! You know that! I don't believe you! I just can't! I'm gonna go sleep in Angela's room. I can't be bothered. Hey. Sorry you had to hear that. No, it's fine. Well, I'm gonna head to sleep. Are you gonna be out here long? Um, tell Angela I'm crashing in her room when she comes in, okay? Nell? Yes. Do you want to stay with me? like him. Stay with me. She's friendly one moment, then doesn't bother with me the next. Before you know it, we're in bed with each other. You fell in love with her at first sight, didn't you? Because you know something is up. Nell, do you want to stay with me? I met Odessa through Angela. They were roommates at the time. I had a huge crush on Angie, though I knew she was straight. But she was so... strong. She was engaged to Odessa's older brother, William. They had a pretty bad breakup. I don't think Angela has ever allowed herself to be with anyone, ever again, since then. I didn't know. That's so sad. Breakups are hard. When Addie and I first broke up, it was awful. I did wrong. I cheated. It was a weird time. I was stressed around the time I was finishing graduate school and one of my classmates. She doesn't matter anymore. Addie was willing to forgive me, but the guilt and anger I felt towards myself? I couldn't let her just take me back. You know? Did you want to quit? Like Tyrell? That's your ex, right? What happened? He graduated the year before me. He got into a really good college in Newcrest. I promised I would follow. Then my mom thought it would be a good idea if I went to Windenburg U, since the apartment is so close. He didn't take it well. At all. He started saying things like, Well, it wouldn't have worked out because we're different. Different like how? He's black. It turned into, Of course you'd go to a place like Windenburg U. Of course your mom would want you to be around a bunch of white people. Of course, of course, of course. Like, he just had a list of what he really thought. Though my mom is harsh, she knew how I felt about him. She just wanted me to be close to family. He wasn't understanding. What an ass. How about, of course you'd go to a great school because you're smart. You're Yume's cuz. I'm so sure you're, like, a genius. But I'm not. I wanted to go to Newcrest. I wanted to be with him. I give up everything for him. Don't? Angela would be so disappointed if she heard you say this. Don't ever shortchange your future for anyone's happiness. If that's what they expect of you, it's not love. And that's why Addie and I broke up the first time. Taking me back would be lowering her standards. There's no way I could co-sign to that. So we split. Then, a year ago, I started teaching and figured myself out. I asked her out again, and at that time... I felt like I earned it. Nell, you're way cool. I admire you so much. Thank you. You're cool too. Just wait and see. You'll surprise yourself.
Hey. Hey. You may let me in. I brought you guys bagels and coffee. I'm sure I was clear when I said I wasn't looking for anything serious. You were. I'm just being friendly. Amiable. Mm Mm-hmm. Why are you really here? Go on a date with me. I knew it. Go home, bro. I have a paper due tomorrow, so I have to finish this book. I figured you'd say that. But I figured you wouldn't say no to this. That guy is really nice. I feel bad for him. Do you really? No. I don't usually feel bad for any man. I was talking to him when he came in. He's like a feminist. That's a man after my own heart. But if that's the case, why is he so persistent about Angela? Shouldn't he respect her right to say no? I think he does. I also think he can't help himself. If you can't go out with me, then we can't do this anymore. Blackmail. Good old blackmail. Damn it, fine. I'll go out with you. Once. That's all I ever wanted. Well, I'm off. What? You can't leave? Finish what you started. Uh, I don't think so. So, this coming Saturday, I promise you'll have a good time. Now, you should really finish that book. Later. Teasing is not allowed. Aiden. Aiden! (laughs) He's way cooler than Kevin. Even I can't argue with that. Have you ever, uh, played 21 questions? You mean, like, how old are you? 29. I'll be 30 in a few weeks. Favorite color? Blue. Is Kevin cheating on Yume? Yes. Damn. Nice work. Looks like my job here is done. Be fair. You have to answer some questions too. As if it would be that simple. All right. Go ahead. Age? 28. Favorite color? Black. Occupation? Hostess. Part-time at two places. Why are you so against dating? Because... Because I had my heart broken. Yeah. But that happens to everyone. Well, I don't know if everyone gives up their own education to get engaged, move far away from home to get married, and then gets thrown away. Actually, it might be more people than I think. I'm sorry. That was so insensitive of me. Can I ask what happened? I was young and naive. I dated an older man and moved here from Willow Creek. He said he wanted to get married. I believed him. Then weeks turned into months, months into years. Then I realized I was 23, unmarried, unemployed, uneducated. I didn't expect that at all. I'm really sorry, but you were also really cool. Am I? Single, black, female, can't land a full-time job and struggles to pay her rent, her tuition. I, I don't know where you get cool from. You're strong. You've been walking on a rocky path for a long time and you haven't faltered. I respect that you're going back to finish school. Most people our age wouldn't even bother. It's admirable. You're trying to do well for yourself by yourself. You're cool. (laughs) And what about you? (laughs) I'm totally uncool. I freaked out after I left your place Sunday. I'm usually not so forward. How many partners have you had? I should have seen that coming. Including you, in my lifetime, four. Four? They were all serious, long-term relationships. You're a serial monogamist. No, not at all. I just, I fall hard, foolishly. Falling for me? Maybe. And what about you, huh? How many people have you been with? (laughs) This year? I don't think I want the answer to that. Think you're up for some karaoke? There's a cool place nearby, but no drinks. We both know how we get when we drink. It sounded good until you threw in that last part.
Thanks. For at least coming out with me. It was a good time. Well, I'll treasure the memory. I'm sure you won't allow me the pleasure of taking you out again. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Will you think about it? If not, I'll totally understand. I will think about it. All right. Good night. Good night. Hey, it's been a long time. Breakups are hard. I admire you so much. Go on a date with me. It was a good time. Hey, it's been a long time. What are you doing here? How are you? What are you doing here? Why is he here? I'm going to stay with him a while. So he lives in the neighborhood. Figures. And what about Nell? I need to get away. I'm going crazy. I'm checking her phone when she's in the shower. When she goes to work, I check her emails. She didn't cheat. She kissed Jenny. That's it. She was crying or something. Yeah, it was dumb, and yes, I'm always protecting her, but I'm sure she's sorry. And she definitely feels bad. Ginny? Whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. I don't like who I'm becoming. I can't propose to her if this is how I'll become. So you called William. I'm sorry. I thought we'd be gone before you got back. Roof. Why are you really here? You look good. When do you graduate? Addie told me you're in school. Don't change the subject. Why are you here? Relax. Addie called me. And I could use the company. My wife is leaving me. I got married since our breakup. It's funny, you and she are pretty similar, but I guess she's as awful to me as I was to you. She got tenure at Sunset Valley College. She's moving. I'm not going with her. That's it? I'm sorry. I was wrong to do that to you, but you've done well for yourself. I saw you come back from your date. I didn't think you'd be the one to date a white guy. Stop it. It was just one date. I haven't been that way with anyone since you left. I haven't been okay at all. I can't even open myself up to that guy, and he's pretty nice. You don't have to close yourself off from everything. Last time I was that open, I ran off with a man that promised me a lot. I gave up my whole world for him. I got nothing for it. You're right. I wasn't even a quarter as good to you as you were to me. But you're doing well despite me, right? Why is it that even you think I'm some ox? That I'm not weak and don't have a hard time? I'm expected to be able to get through everything. I've had a hard time. I'm doing it, but I'm having... A hard time. I couldn't imagine myself with anyone after you left. I cried. I cried for a long time.
I didn't. But now, considering my own situation, I cry all the time too. Eddie, Eddie, please, don't go. Don't go! It's only for a little while. No! No, that's what I said when we broke up last time. You can't. Angela, stop her! I have to. I'm... No. I'm not feeling like no. myself these days. No. I need some space. No. Time. You'll be fine. And when I come back, we'll be better than we are now. I was wrong! I kissed Jenny and I was wrong! It was dumb! It was so dumb! I'm sorry! I'm sorry like I was sorry about Cynthia! Willie, and are you ready? I'll be downstairs. Angela, take care of yourself. Eddie... Eddie, you're my only one. I told you to call before you come. There's a woman in there. Stop with the accusations. I'm not a fool, Kevin. I'm not. Don't believe me? Come on in. See? Always doubting me. I guess I was wrong. So tell her the truth or break up with her. Yume's pretty cool. I can't. I actually like her. Then leave Rosa. You can't have both. How did she even know to check up on me? You told Angela, didn't you? Not on purpose. We did talk a lot. Whose side are you on? I'm not gonna back you on bullshit, bro. Leave one of those women alone. I like Yume, but I've been with Rosa forever. You know she was my first for everything. I can't. How was your date? <sighs> Magical. You're a chick. Swear to God, you're a chick. Stop saying sexist shit like that. You're definitely being a schoolgirl right now. Maybe she's the man and you're the woman. Go home, Kevin. I'm sorry. Anything especially good happen? Mm, she kissed me on the cheek. Can't say I'm not happy for you. You love me. Don't make me regret my words. I'm heading over to their apartment. You may and I actually have a date. Wanna ride? Hey there. Who keeps letting you in here? You may. We're besties now. Dear God. <sighs> uh, I'm studying. I don't have time for anything today. Midterms are in a couple of weeks. You should know that. I get it. That's cool. Maybe we could do a late dinner after classes Thursday? We can't. Then Friday? Stop it. Just stop. I'm going to say no. I already told you I'm not looking for anything. You're nice, but hardly understanding. You're right, but I don't care. You think it's not humiliating to be rejected this many times? Then why persist? Because I like you. 
You know nothing about me. The things I do know, I love. You're beautiful and strong, just amazing. I admire everything about you. I, I don't know. Maybe I want to be like you. Maybe that's why I can't stop. I really want to see where this can go. I'm not good at relationships. Who is? I'm certainly not. No one is good at relationships. You're pretty much liable for someone's emotional well-being all the time. Who's good at that? Okay, but I'm really, really bad at relationships. So? I'm a financial advisor for obnoxiously rich people like Kevin. I teach finance management to people at least twice my age, but I sucked at math in school. When I was a freshman, I had to take remedial math. After that, I failed college algebra three times, two summer sessions, and, and the fall of my sophomore year. I didn't pass until my second semester, but I was committed to being good at it. I studied hard every day, and when I finally passed, I had the highest scores in my class. I wasn't good at it at all, but I committed to being good. So what exactly is your point, Aiden? I cannot promise you I won't hurt you. I can't. I'd be lying. But I will definitely commit to making sure I don't. I guess you win. Yeah? Don't start cheering. You won't regret it. I, I mean, you might, but it should be great. I think this is going to be great. You don't have to close yourself off from everything. I need some space. Time. You'll be fine. I was wrong! There's a woman in there. Stop with accusations. I actually like her. I cannot promise you I won't hurt you. But I will definitely commit to making sure I don't. I guess. So, any plans for the weekend? No, nothing crazy. Well, I wanted to ask, do you want to sleep over? I mean, not that your place isn't cool and all, but there are a lot of women and, like, very little privacy, and... I'll stay over. Yes, it'll be great. We'll wear footy pajamas and watch a movie. I am not wearing footy pajamas. Okay. Anything you'd like me to make for dinner? Anything is fine. I like your cooking. Well, there has to be something special. I like cookies. Really? I don't think I've ever seen you eat sweets. I try to stay away. I have a big weakness for sweet things. Hmm. Probably why you like me so much. <laughs> You're so corny. But this works. I want to ask you something anyway. Okay. We can save all the sweet talk for that night.
Oh my god, he's corny. <laughs> you love it. I work that day, so I'll be by for dinner. I'll probably bring homework. Finals aren't that far away. No, they are not. But you have to reward me for being such a good student. I am baking cookies, aren't I? With something else. I want your cookies. Angela. What? We haven't slept together since we started dating. That's because I'm trying to know you better. I think I know a lot about your body as it is. What if I do that thing you like? That thing with my tongue? That swirl thing? <laughs> Go home, Angela. Go home right now. I don't want to go to Windenburg U. I want to see Tyrell. You know Uncle Hiroshi is not going to be down with that. I'm surprised they're even giving you the option to take another semester off. Just go. Then transfer or something. Why not Windenburg U, Jen? I go there. Hey, Angela. I... I really want to try and work things out with Tyrell. I love him. No, you don't. What? If you loved him, you'd be happy for him. Let him go. And learn to love yourself. Go to school. Get a decent paying job. Ensure you have something to bring to the table. Survive. If you want to die in the streets screaming love, know it isn't true love. She's dropping facts, Jenny. You can't just stay in your room all day. I'm surprised you're not fat. I guess... I could start looking for other opportunities at other schools. Maybe you'll like when you. You should give it a chance. Saying this because you gave Aiden a shot? And with that, I'm going to bed. Is she blushing? Good night. I'm so happy she's dating. What about Nell and Odessa? I, I feel kind of bad. Like it's my fault. No, they have their own trials to go through. <laughs> I'm done. It's over. I don't care about Lewis. I don't care what you do. I like her. No, no, you can't convince me otherwise. We've been done for years. You're lying. You're lying. How are you so sure I'm the father? I don't believe you. You said... I'll call you back. I like you. A lot. Cookies. Thanks for baking them. I'm sorry I have homework to do. It's fine. I know you're busy. Now, uh, what did you want to ask me the other night? So, we're all pretty confident that Nell and Dee will work everything out. I wanted to know... Yeah? Since you have tons of clients, know any good caterers? That? That's what you wanted to ask? Why? You don't know any? I guess I could check. Got you. I really wanted to ask if you'd be my date. I'm best lady, you know. <laughs> you did get me. I was, I was so, like, worried and confused and hopeful. God, I love you.
I have to go. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I I shouldn't have. It's it's fine. I I forgot a textbook at home. Anyway, uh, another time. Please don't go. It, it was a mistake. I shouldn't have said anything. It was too soon. I'm I'm just gonna. Don't leave. I I was so excited, and it just came out. I, I won't say it again. I'm sorry. No, I. I'm overreacting. You should say whatever's on your mind, right? Not if it chases you away. I just... It's been so long. And I... I'm not there yet. I'm sorry. We don't have to talk about it. It's okay. We can... We can do whatever you want. Whatever you like. Even that. Yeah? Of course. I want to make you feel good. Safe. Close to me. Sleep well? Yeah. More or less. I'm, uh, sorry about being weird last night. Don't be sorry. It's me. Really. Please, just accept my apology. No. Don't be sorry. You did nothing wrong. I, I feel like you're patronizing me. Just, I'm sorry, okay? I won't say things like that again. Forget I brought it up. Patronizing? I'm trying to let you know that it's okay, and you think I'm patronizing. I feel weird about it too, Aiden. Really? You know, forget it. I already feel shitty and rejected and humiliated, so just... I'll have breakfast at home.
Wow, you may. Didn't expect to see you home today. I thought you'd be up underneath Kevin at this time. Clearly you're not trying to be polite. I figured you'd be at Aiden's screwing all day. Why do you still waste your time with him? You know he's cheating on you. I've told you this. Just because you've never seen them together. What makes you think that I haven't? What makes you confident that I don't know? I know, but I like him. I didn't think you were so... weak. So you have a fight with your boyfriend and you come home to fight with me? Hmm? I'm going to my room. Since Kevin is such a jerk, maybe I should date Aiden. Kevin is a train wreck and you're busy running away from something good for you. Stop it before you say something you don't mean. I like Kevin. Yeah, he's an ass, but it's nice to date someone that I feel I'm equal to. Like I said, I didn't know you were that weak. What's love to you, Kevin? Choosing someone's happiness over your own. So, I'm, I'm guessing you don't love Yume? No. I do like her, though. Don't you love Angela? Telling her you love her? Wasn't that selfish? Yeah, I guess. But, I do. I know I do. Really? When I met her, she was this free spirit. <laughs> Then, meeting her again, she was so warm and friendly, but after getting to know her more, I see she works so hard, non-stop. She's driven, focused. She reminds me of my dad, actually. I, I want to see her succeed, and to be by her side. That might be it. That might be love. Can't say I'm not happy for you. So what's up? Why are you here today instead of with Yume? Rose is pregnant. Hi. How are you? <laughs> what do you want? You haven't come out for anything to eat all weekend. I was just worried about you. Leave me. I don't deserve to eat. I'm sure Adessa will be back. Once, someone told me, it'll get better. That person is a fool. You told me that. A fool, indeed. You're always more positive than that, Nellie. Addie. Addie. You're here. You came back. <laughs> I thought I'd never see you again. I told you I was coming back. I'm so sorry. About everything. <laughs> me kissing Jenny... <laughs> And about Cynthia all those years ago. That's the past. It's okay now. I took time to think, and I forgive you. I forgive the old us. It's the only way to make room for our future. What do you mean? Well, I cleared my head. I was still hurt about the last few years. I was worried I was becoming a different person. And then once I moved past it all, everything was so clear. I want to open my own lounge. I know you hate coming to the club, so I want to run a place more calm and to your liking. I want to be together. I want to get married. Will you marry me, Nell Green? Yes. Yes, oh God, yes. 
We're getting married! <laughs> Hey. Hey. So, they're engaged. Like I told you. Okay. I want to try again. Aiden, will you be my date to Nell and Addie's wedding? Yes, of course. You are best lady after all. Can't go alone. Graduate soon. Want me to wear something nice to the ceremony? No, I'm not going. No way I'm marching with a bunch of young people in their 20s. You're also in your 20s. Late 20s. I want to go on break. Like, no work, no school, nothing. How about after the wedding, we get out of town? Or do a secluded staycation. I don't care where we go. As long as you make me cookies. So, where's the honeymoon? Honeymoons are pricey. Since we're trying to save and start our own business, we're just gonna hide out in the apartment for a few days. Me and that beautiful lady over there kinda knew you guys would do that. So we got you a nice wedding gift. A weekend trip at Granite Falls. Enjoy. It was all Angie's idea. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you. Just... Really? I want to apologize for before. You've been great about everything. Supportive, patient, forgiving, kind. You're so kind. That gift to my friends, that was so, so, so sweet. I've never had any man back me like that before. And every time I hear, I love you, it takes me to a place I don't want to go back to. It hurts, you know? But you're so amazing. Really amazing. How could I not? How could I not love you? I... I... I love you, Aiden. 
I love you. Now, don't go crazy. I'm not going to say it every day or anything. <laughs> Can I get a free pass for now? Fine. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you, Angela. apologize for before you've been great about everything supportive patient forgiving kind you're so kind That gift to my friends, that was so, so, so sweet. I've never had any man back me like that before. And every time I hear, I love you, it takes me to a place I don't want to go back to. It hurts, you know? But you're so amazing, really amazing. How could I not? How could I not love you? I, I, I love you, Aiden. I love you. Now, don't go crazy. I'm not going to say it every day or anything. <laughs> Can I get a free pass for now? Fine. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I hate I love you. I love you, Angela. Grab it by the base and squeeze it gently till the frosting comes out the tip. You mean like this? Uh, no, no. Squeeze it slower. Here, let me show you. Ah, oh, it is. No, look. Oh, you squirt too much. Uh. Uh, s squirt too much? <laughs> oh, uh, everything's all sticky. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's... It's really, really sweet. S sweet? Uh, like, um, like oh. me? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sweet. Oh, Jesus. Is something wrong? Nope. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice. What? What would be nice? If we... If we... Could... Could... Be together like this. All the time. Like this? <laughs> All the time? Yeah. In the kitchen, making meals and whatnot, but together. Y yeah? That'd be nice. If we lived together, or got married. Married? Yeah, I guess. What do you think about marriage? It was something I wanted a long time ago. 
Maybe not so much anymore. I don't know. Well, what about moving in together? Do you want me to? Move in together? Yeah. I can't pull my own weight just yet. I need a new job. You'll get it. You're smart and educated. Even so, I still can't make the same contributions to bills and- We'll just base your contribution to your income. Whatever that may be. It's just math. Math? Yeah. Math. Can we talk? When this goes on commercial. Now, please. I know you know. Know what? You may. Don't say it. You know, I know. And if you say it, if you say, it makes it real. And these last few weeks undone. I am happy right now, Kevin. Are you? You and Angela won't even talk to each other. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. Stop it. Stop it. Up until that day at your apartment, I was cheating on you. The woman is my ex, Rosa. We were never good at breaking things off correctly. I told you to stop. She's pregnant. We don't know who the father is. Why did you do it? You deserve better. I want you to be happy. I don't know. Maybe over the last few weeks, I realized that your woman I may come to love. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. If you were, we wouldn't be having this conversation. If you just kept it in your damn pants. And I asked nicely, I asked nicely if we could talk when this goes on commercial. Aiden asked me to move in. Good. I'm happy for you. I don't like that we let men come between us. I have nothing to say. It's life, you know? You're important to me. That's why I stressed it so much. I think you're better than the things you've allowed. He told me. Everything. I bet you didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't. Looks like your man doesn't tell you everything. You may. You have everything. Nell and Odessa have everything. What? Who do I have? That isn't true. Aiden is a recent addition to my life. It's not like it's a secret I slept around before that. At least men like you. You're not the woman that stands idly while her friends... While her friends are happy. I got tired of being lonely. 
I got tired of seeing you kiss guys when they'd leave the apartment, and I definitely got tired of Nell and Odessa. Always happy. Always in love. What about me? For once it was nice to date a man that neglected you? Made you feel forgotten? Avoided your calls to cheat? Is that the best you think you can do? Michael was a nice guy. He made good money. He broke up with me. That's why I don't like going back to the restaurant. So because Kevin didn't have the guts to break up with you, you latched on to him? You don't understand. I knew you wouldn't. That's why I never told you. Told me what? How alone I feel. You may take the moving in together news. <laughs> I hate Kevin. And I want him to burn a fiery death. That is not the answer I was looking for. But I can understand. Why didn't you tell me his ex was pregnant? Because that's not our problem. She's my friend. She's hurting so much over this. And you knowing would make it hurt less? Uh, I don't understand. I knew you wouldn't understand. I, I could have warned her. She didn't listen to begin with. I'm not saying she deserved it, but to be involved with Kevin was her decision. And don't make it sound like I've conspired against you. I've told Kevin to break it off with both of them for months. She's alone, hurt and angry. And I'm here. I'm watching TV on your damn sofa. What's wrong with that? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be this happy. I'm happy, and she's having a rough time. That's not friendship. Angela, stop! Calm down now, don't say things like that. You're supposed to be happy. You deserve happiness. Doesn't she deserve it too? Of course. Of course she does. Why am I so angry? Because someone you admire and respect is doing something you don't expect them to. It happens. I'm sorry I came after you. It's fine. I want to be happy. I want to be successful like you may. I want what Nell and Dee have. I want... To get married. I... I don't want to say that. I... Um... You want to get married? <laughs> I don't know. Someday? Let's get married. <laughs> Isn't it too soon? Isn't jumping into everything too much? I'm still looking for full-time work and... <laughs> so? I, I fell for you in a heartbeat. I, I've been counting the days. There's... Nothing. I want more. Really? Yeah. I, I want you to meet my parents. I especially my father and my brother, Ben. He's a cute kid. He's he starts college next year. And I want to meet your family. 
I, I want to ask your father. I've never met my father. Marry me. Okay. Yes! I don't want a wedding. No? Not even a small ceremony? No. Just an engagement ring. And then a nice wedding band, eventually. I want to pick both. No wedding. No wedding. Okay. You're okay with that? I'm okay with whatever you're okay with. So we're engaged now? I guess so. I'm engaged again. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. I love you. I love you too. What are your thoughts on kids? I want a little girl who I can bond with. My mom was okay, but she was so focused on raising me upright, she never took time to understand me. I think you'll make a great mom. I want to be like my father. He's tough, but a great man. He put me through school, driving a cab. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. He never went to college, but it didn't stop him from taking good care of his family. I majored in finance because he wanted me to. Your dad sounds really cool. What about your mother? She's an elementary school teacher, but in the city. When they started to make changes to the school system, they reduced her pay. She doesn't make a lot. Oh, I see. So, you want to be a cool daddy-o, like your daddy <laughs> Now he's corny. You love it. To get married. I... I don't want to say that. I... Um... You want to get married? <laughs> I don't know. Someday? Let's get married. <laughs> Isn't it too soon? Isn't jumping into everything too much? I'm still looking for full-time work and... <laughs> so? I fell for you in a heartbeat. I, I've been counting the days. There's nothing. I want more. Really? Yeah. I, I want you to meet my parents. Especially my father and my brother, Ben. He's a cute kid. He's, he starts college next year. And I want to meet your family. I, I want to ask your father. I've never met my father. Marry me. I'm so glad that you got this job, Angela. It suits you. An opportunity at your alma mater, Phyllis. I'm so happy you called us. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. I have more good news. I knew it. I knew it. You had something else to say over the phone. Aiden and I are engaged. What? No way. Really? Are you sure about this? When I... It's been a few weeks. 
We just talked about it. It's nothing crazy. We don't want to spend tons of money. Just to the courts, and that's it. He's not pressuring you, is he? No. He asked. I answered honestly. I want this. Maybe I didn't get involved with anyone before because I wanted to be with the right person. I thought you guys would be happy for me. We are. We're just worried. You took your breakup from William very hard. It'll be fine. This is different. Aiden promised. I believe him. I think I need another drink. I gotta go. You may. I know this is a lot to hear. I'm sorry. It. I just... I don't know. I am happy for you. It's good. You met someone that you're willing to overcome your fears for. That's beautiful. I want you to be happy too. I wish there was something I could do. Don't get married. I can't do that. I know. I'm such a shitty friend. Since Jenny moved on the Wind U campus, and Odessa and Nell have been looking for one-bedroom apartments, and you're basically gone. I'm alone. Oh, you may. You won't always feel this way. It seems that way now, but you won't always feel this loneliness. Married or not, I'm still here for you. Always. Always? Always. I forgave Kevin. Babe? Why? You okay? Why? Why? Why does she keep going back to him? I cannot. Can I kill Kevin? How could she forgive him? She said she was lonely. And last I spoke to Kevin, he was having a rough time too. Sounds like they missed each other. I just don't understand. He's not a good guy, Aiden. You know he's not. Well, he might not be a good person to date, but he's not a bad guy. We got to meet because of him. What? Kevin invited me to the party that night. And even being here in Windenburg, all him. After we did some work together, he put in a good word with my employers, and I got promoted and relocated here. Oh. I didn't know. I feel silly. Psh, don't. Kevin, although wrong, could never properly break up with Rosa. They were a complicated thing even before I met him. Any reason? You're very interested in Kevin tonight. I want to understand you, May. Can I tell you I love you? <laughs> For what? Because I'm going to marry such a sweet woman. The kind to worry about her friends too much. Oh, you're so corny. I hate it. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>
We should stop seeing each other. I've been hiding it from my friends. I feel so ashamed. I think Adisa knows. I saw her when I had to go to the bathroom. That one night I was here. Ugh, she'd be the last person to tell me she knew. You know, they never tell me things. Like, Nell kissed Jenny months ago. No one told me until way later. I can't imagine someone would want to tell you that. I'm pathetic. I don't think so. I don't want to have sex tonight. Sorry I invited you over. I'm glad you didn't want to. Sometimes I just want to talk to you. Really? Yeah, you're easy to talk to. And kind of crazy, kind of funny, sassy. I am not sassy. <laughs> you are so sassy. I am not. What did you see in her? My past. Rosa was there before the money and the properties. First woman I ever slept with. First woman I ever loved. I can't see much of anything now. I can be a father at any minute. You said, you said that I may be a woman you can fall in love with. Yeah, you're different. You're lighthearted, a spring breeze or something. I like that about you. I guess that's why I couldn't come clean sooner. The truth was this ugly model thing on this bright, cheerful thing. Cheerful? Kevin, I've been so miserable. Anxious, jealous of my best friends. I went to catch you in a lie because I was rightfully paranoid and you remember me like a lighthearted hearted Well, that's because of me. Angela and Aiden are getting married. I want to be happy for them. And I can't. Yeah, I can't either. Now who's pathetic? Can't even be happy for my best friend. I guess two awful people deserve each other. I guess. I wanted to fall in love with you. I wanted to fall in love with you too. That's great. You might get a promotion in no time. You just love saying that. <laughs> I have another call. I gotta go. I'll see you at home. Hey, Ben. Been meaning to call you guys. I have such great news. What? What are you talking about? Where's mom? early I'm leaving leaving I don't understand my father had a stroke oh my god Aiden are, are you going home do you want me to come with you no no I don't, I don't want you to meet my family like this besides the flight soon I bought only one ticket are you sure I could come after it's fine I'm sorry I'm really sorry. Is there... is there anything I can do? No. I'll call you when I land, okay? Okay. You promise? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you.
I can't believe that he hasn't called. He'll call. Do you want to stay at the apartment tonight? You look so down. He'll call. Plus, I have a few things I want to work on. I see Jenny fairly often. She stops by for advice, or just to say hello. That's good. You're happy, right? You like what you do? Yeah. I wish there was more I could do. I know academic coordinator sounds like a glorified support role, but I actually get to talk to a lot of the students. I help guide and encourage them. It's nice to talk to different people, hear their thoughts and problems. It helps me not think about things. Yeah, that's good. It'll be fine. You'll be okay. I'm sure he'll come back soon. He's paralyzed, waist down, in his face. He can't communicate so well right now. <laughs> and there are other things. When are you going back? Do you want me to come with you? No. I know I can't do much, but I can be there for you. No. Aiden... We're supposed to get married. How can you not want me to help you? I don't want to get married. The engagement is off. <gasps> Let's break up, Angela. Aiden, we're supposed to get married. How can you not want me to help you? I don't want to get married. The engagement is off. <gasps> Let's break up, Angela. Break, break up? Yeah. I don't understand. I'm trying. I'm really trying. But I don't. My dad didn't make a lot of money. My mom doesn't make a lot of money. I've already had to help them over these last few years. I don't want them to become your burden. You don't think I could handle it? 
I don't want you to. You finally graduated. Your life is on track. You have a job you love at a place you respect. I can't. I can't ask you to give that up for me. You don't think I would? <laughs> of course you would. That's why I'm calling it off. Everything. You don't get to do that. You can't tell me what to do. No one tells me what to do. So I'm forcing your hand. I'm going back home. I spoke to my employers. They're willing. Ugh, stop it! Stop talking, Aiden. This isn't your battle. You think I want this? You think I want to do this to us? I was so torn on the flight back. I'm doing this because I love you. I want to make you happy. I want you to succeed. You want to take care of someone else's dying parent? Help pay college tuition for someone's kid? You want to support people you've never met? They'd be my family once we got married. You can't throw away your future for me. I won't let you. You don't get to make these decisions by yourself. I'm in this too. I have a say. No, you don't get a say. It's over. We're over. Ugh, I knew it. I knew you would do this to me. I knew it would end like last time. Hurting you was not my agenda. Don't make it sound like I wanted this. I never wanted this. You don't think I'm having a rough time? My family will never be the same. We will never be the same. You think I want to lose you? Go. Leave. Leave like everyone else. Leave like William. Like the father I never met. Go. No one is begging you to stay, so go. You can't honestly believe I wanted this. It doesn't matter. I paid for the loft for the next few months. This way you have time. I don't want your money. I knew you would refuse it, so I've spoken to the landlord. It's already taken care of. I leave tomorrow. Kevin will be by to send my things off. He'll come when you're at work. You'll be fine. You'll do great. You're smart, ambitious. You never give up. You're strong. You're so s Leave. I'm Angela. Aiden. I wanted to fall in love with you. I wanted to fall in love with you, too. What? Someone told me. It'll get better. That person is a fool. You're always more positive than that, Nellie. He said he wanted to get married. I believed him. Then weeks turned into months, months into years. Then I realized I was 23, unmarried, unemployed, uneducated.
think you'll take the job? I don't know. I really like my current role, but the other has more room for growth. The pay is a bit less since it's a community college, unlike when you. I still can't believe Nell referred me. Yeah, but it might be really good for you. You get to do more college advisory, get some one-on-one -on -one with freshmen. We both thought that maybe you'd get that hands-on experience you were looking for. I know, I know. It's just, it's a lot to think about. It is, but don't take too long. She told me this morning they need someone right after spring break. I'll think about it. Thanks, Addie. So, how's the married life going? Well, since Kevin has been so great about renting us the space for a lounge, we're thinking he might be good to work with in buying a starter home. <laughs> Apparently being a dad prompts some decent behavior. Yeah, but I think being what you may brings out the good in him. He's actually pretty cool. I can see why he and Aiden... I shouldn't have said anything. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I'm okay. It's been a long time. Do you... Do you still cry? Not all the time. I think I've been drinking too much. You don't usually, since you started playing stepmom. It's fine. I'm gonna get fat. You're not going to get fat. What? And you. You've lost weight. As if you weren't in perfect shape already. Are you eating? I eat enough. Angela, get your man. Get your man. I invited you over for some girl time. Not to talk about Aiden. It's been a long time. He's probably moved on by now. Kevin tells me things. A lot of things. It's all about Kevin, isn't it? He told me Aiden calls him in tears some nights. That he can't take it, hearing him like that. What do you want me to say? We haven't spoken since he left. His father passed away. He hasn't contacted me at all. You haven't contacted him either. It doesn't matter. Angela, please. You hardly eat. You don't go out with us anymore. You work all the time. You miss him. I know it's been a long time, but you miss him. Go. Playing with Kevin's baby has made you soft? Being with Kevin and Marco has made me embrace my flaws. I'm human. We're all human. Children are so small and fragile, but guess what? So are adults. I know you're strong, but it's okay to be weak sometimes. Not foolish. Vulnerable. Be vulnerable. Go to him. What if... What if he won't see me? Then come back. I will hold you until the tears stop. Me, Nell, Dee, we will always be here for you. <laughs>
Mom? Mom? There's a hot black chick with an afro outside. Aiden! Aiden, get down here quick! Angela? Hi. I'm here. Um. I'm here. I, uh. It's. It's spring break. I. Hadn't taken any days off since I started. I'm actually starting a new job soon. Um, I, uh, I wanted to tell you, um, but since we don't talk, I figured I'd just come see you. Angela. I missed you. I should have called. I should have called. You may told me that your father passed. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Don't be. He lived a good life. <laughs> your brother is cute. I guess since it's been a while, he's much older than I imagined. Boys just... Boys just shoot up, huh? <laughs> yeah. We're already the same height. <laughs> It was nice of your mom to let us sleep in here together. Though I really didn't want to put anyone out, I... She's just happy you're here. That you're real, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry I never called. I... didn't want you to. I did, but... I made up my mind to be okay. That you wouldn't. Told myself to be okay. That you wouldn't. I missed you every day. I still cry a lot. I cry a lot too, believe it or not. I haven't been able to be with anyone since you left. I've gone on a few dates, <laughs> but no one is you. My mom keeps telling me to meet people, date other women, and I tried hard, but I, I couldn't imagine meeting someone other than you. I didn't want to, don't want to. So be with me. Marry me. Yeah? You're not afraid that I might break your heart again? <laughs> I don't think you could manage to break your own heart again. Marry me. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll marry you. Good. No running away this time. <laughs> no. No running away.
sit down. Aren't you too pregnant? What kind of hostess would I be if I sat down the whole time? It's your birthday. Chill out. You make it look easy and the rest of us look bad. I hate it. She looks good. Now you're just complaining to be down with your wife, D. Not even a beer? No. She's not drinking. I'm not gonna tempt her. Team effort. Seriously? It's not fun drinking alone, bro. Then don't drink. There's like some fizzy fruit stuff that can be had. You don't miss the beer? Hmm. No. What about the sex? How's that looking? She actually doesn't want it. I thought they wanted it more. I thought so too. I'm dying here, man. She's so cute with that tummy. I never thought I would live to see you want sex. I've seen everything. I can die peacefully now. Shut it. Any new investments you looking to make? A fellow professor has a nephew that's looking for a silent partner. I don't know. I want to buy a building for you, May. And then propose to her inside. Wow. We must be old. You're romantic. Hey, keep that to yourself. I know you like telling your wife everything. Aiden, I'm hungry. Can we eat now? Sure. Everyone grab a plate. My wife is ready to eat. God, I want to marry your husband. What? I didn't mean to say that out loud. He's just so cute and nice. And don't act like you all haven't thought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you listening to your daddy? <laughs> Don't listen to him. Your mommy's girl.